हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वीना यादव आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू श्री चैतन्य गोशाला कैंपस बच्चे दिस सेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट इज अबाउट द ड्रेस कोड फॉर नीट एग्जामिनेशन 2023 See, there is a security check outside your examination center. So I really don't want that you feel stuck at that security check because you should be aware about what to wear, what not to wear, what are prohibited items. Is the customary dress is prohibitable or you can wear that? Should I wear shoes or should I wear sandals? So all those queries will be taken up in today's session. Is about what you can wear in your examination center hall. Let's get started. So, bache, this is nta.nic.neet website. This will be telling you about everything that you need to know about dress code. As per the official information bulletin, there is a whole section explaining detail concerning the NEET 2023 dress code. Now, let me tell you in detail that what is mandatory things. What are the things that you should avoid completely? So, if I talk about mandate things. since the cases of covid-19 are arising so you should be carrying a mask as well as gloves so gloves and mask is mandatory that is must all right i don't want you to lose your energy or you feel frustrated during the security checkup because the delay of 20 and 25 minutes during the security checkup will frustrate your mind and that will impact your exam so i don't want that that your exam should be impacted by such silly things all right so let's understand let's go through all all the do's and don'ts about your dress code all right so if i speak about the male candidates i'll be more specific i'll be speaking about the male candidates first so first and foremost thing my dear kids that as per the covid-19 safety guidelines you must wear a mask as well as gloves all right i totally understand wearing a mask for 3 uh, hour and 20 minutes is a little discomforting so what you can do you can take an 90 uh, mask that will comfort you all right so mask and your gloves are mandatory moving ahead to the next point if i speak about the upper part so you should wear half sleeve shirt and t-shirt full sleeves shirts are not allowed so you have to wear half sleeves just like me you should not wear the full sleeves shirts and t-shirts moving ahead to the next point clothes worn by the male candidate should be light which means heavy zip heavy pockets big buttons and clothes with elaborate embroidery that should be avoided that has to be avoided all right in case of bottom wear so upper wear may we are uh, we are very much sure that we have to wear half sleeves shirt half sleeves t-shirt we should avoid full sleeves shirt and full sleeves t-shirts right moving ahead to the bottom wear if i speak about bottom wear the candidate should wear trouser candidate should not wear kurtas and pajamas during the examination center so you can wear trouser and a t-shirt that is a easy way to go for your examination center yes what about your shoes so shoes are not allowed instead you can wear slippers slippers with thin sole slippers and sandals you can wear shoes and high heels thick sole footwear are not allowed in your examination center so moving ahead to the female candidate so for male candidate if i speak about first and foremost thing is first and foremost thing is you have to wear half sleeve shorts and t-shirts secondly in bottom wear you should wear trousers no kurta pajamas are allowed and in footwear shoes should be prohibited you can wear sandals and slippers and your sandal and slipper should not be of thick sole it should be a very thin sole all right moving ahead to the female candidate because we have more scope in dress code of female candidate so let's speak about females so firstly we are very sure that since there is covid 19 cases so we have to wear mask and gloves that is mandatory despite of the fact you are male or female so mask and gloves are mandatory thing moving ahead to the next one they are uh, they are advised not to wear clothes that have elaborate embroidery that have flowers that have brooch or large big buttons because this is strictly prohibited so what should we wear 
we should avoid all the embroidery thing we should avoid all the large big buttons we should wear simple clothes simple plain t-shirt we can wear all right see this is just to uh, make you hassle free during the security checkups because this will stuck into your brain and your brain will feel little exhausted before the exam and i strictly don't want that i want you to be positive and happy during the day all right moving ahead to the next point no clothes with full arm length sleeves again Full arm length sleeves are not allowed in case of female candidate also. The kurta or the t-shirt that you are wearing should be half sleeves. That has to be half sleeves. What about the jeans? Jeans with big pockets, fashionable with generally not to be allowed. That is not allowed. So jeans having big pocket, sometimes you, uh, uh, you wear ribbed jeans. That is also not allowed. Your jeans, your bottom wear should not be fashionable enough like there should not be a lot of pockets into that leggings what about leggings so my dear kids leggings are also not allowed leggings your plazos that you wear these ones are not allowed now your question will be now what should i wear ma'am everything is not allowed what should i wear so the simple answer is you should wear a plain t-shirt and a, and a, we can say pajama or a lower which is comfortable enough all right so you should not go for heavy embroidery heavy uh, buttons heavy zip pocket th like things okay moving ahead to the footwear so what about footwears so we should avoid high heels girls love high heels so we have to avoid high heels and thick sole shoes instead we should go for sandals or slippers low heel footwear is also allowed all right but we should not wear that thick heel sole uh, footwears moving ahead to your jewelries some girls loves to wear earrings and nose ring rings pendant necklace bracelet anklet everything everything is prohibited because metal detector is going to detect all these things and there will be wastage of 20 or 25 minutes at that particular time all right so you should leave all these earrings nose ring rings watches everything you should leave at your home while entering into the examination center you should be plain and simple with your kurta and a simple bottom wear with simple slippers because by wearing these simple clothes you will also feel very light all right so moving ahead to what about the customary dresses and you know, sometimes it is mandatory to wear certain dress for example in case of Sikh in case of Muslim so in case of Sikh and Muslim they can wear their customary dress despite of the fact they have to appear early so I would suggest to all my Sikh and Muslim students you should go to examination at 12 30 okay before time so what will happen you will be having ample of time to go through that security checkup so that hassle will be avoided all right so you should come at max by 12 30 to your examination center moving ahead to uh, what should you carry list of items so my dear students you can carry stationery pen pencil scale geometry box paper eraser calculator log tables all are prohibited nothing you can carry along with you all right so joby uh, anything you have pen pencil scale geometry box everything you have to keep at your home moving on to electronic items can i take my mobile phones no no not at all microphones bluetooth devices pen drive earphone watches every everything is prohibited everything is not permitted into the examination center e tables can i take certain food items until and unless you are having any any medical emergency then you should not take any e tables in fact if you are having medical emergency then also nta will take care of it all right so any kind of water bottle packed or unpacked personal water bottle are not permitted inside the examination center personal items your wallet your accessories your cameras your goggles your belt your caps your ornaments everything is not allowed into your examination center now one common question that i get asked every year ma'am i am having a permanent tattoo what should i do should i get it removed the thing is you cannot get rid of permanent tattoo so you have to carry it along with you okay but 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 i would say you should also reach to the examination center before 15 or 20 minutes so that you can avoid that hassle second question 
मैम आई वॉज हैविंग अ मैरिज एट माई प्लेस सो शुड आई वियर दैट है ना मेहंदी एट माई हैंड एंड गो टू द गो टू द एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर द थिंग इज नो you should avoid that henna you should avoid that mehndi into your hands all right so i think i am pretty clear to all of, all of my bachas out there that male student should be wearing this much things female student should be wearing this particular dress so this will save your time while entering your examination center stay tuned for more updates on shri chaitanya gosala campus i'll be live in next classes bye bachcho take care all the best